Abe with Lucas Media. Let's get to it. So, Deontay Wilder actually agreed with Gerald Big Baby Miller about what he had to say about Anthony Joshua. And I quote, I didn't have to see, see to say anything. Everyone said what needed to be said, especially Gerald Miller. I can't stand him one bit, but he told the truth about AJ. And for those who haven't been watched the press conference, and Gerald Big Baby Miller called out AJ and said that he is completely scared of, of Deontay Wilder. But the thing is, Deontay Wilder and Gerald Miller can't stand each other. And according to both, well, according to Big Baby Miller, it goes back to somebody that they both dealt with. And that they had this legendary sparring session to where Wilder said he gave Big Baby Miller a concussion. <laughs> Big Baby Miller said it was because of it was hot and this and a third. But apparently they had a legendary sparring session. But Gerald Miller said, you're scared of Wilder. And you either going to fight me or Wilder. If you beat Wilder, I mean, if you fight Wilder, he going to he going to put you in the dirt. Or if he fights him, he's just going to pound him, pound him. And y'all can go back and pull up the video. But basically, which one, which, which one do you want? And Anthony Joshua, you know, like, oh, shut up, whatever, whatever. But he didn't really say that in the Wilder. And I have to agree as well with my two, my opinion. AJ and Eddie Hearn do not really want any issues with Deontay Wilder based on their styles. Y'all can make fun of Wilder and say he can't box and windmill Wilder and this, that, and the third. But AJ is very robotic and he's very slow in the ring. He does not move his head enough. And all it got to do, all it's going to take is one hand to let the land on AJ from Wilder. And he's going to sleep. AJ knows that. Eddie Hearn knows that. Deontay Wilder knows that. Big Baby Miller knows that. Sky Sports knows that. Everybody knows that. The people in Europe knows that. This is why. And for my European people. My people in uh, UK, let me know because I was arguing with people on Twitter years ago about this. When, when Wilder would try to fight AJ, even though AJ had the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO belts, they kept saying, oh no, he's not ready. He's still learning. He needs more time to fight somebody like Wilder, but he'll fight Andy Ruiz and lose, Usyk and lose. Uh, he did fight Joseph Parker. Like he went around everybody but Wilder. We even went through this whole spectacle in 2018 about Anthony Joshua said he wants 50 million. Then he said, I'm not going to sell my soul for 50 million. And you couldn't ask him really nothing about Wilder. He, he, he would talk about everybody. But when it came to Wilder, you could tell that was AJ's kryptonite. He was like, ah, you know, no, mm mm. But now, thanks to the people in Saudi Arabia, the bag is getting so big that they have no choice but to even be in the same room. If it wasn't for that, AJ probably would have avoided Wilder his whole career. So at some point, they probably are going to fight. I know they're doing a co-main event. Uh, the Saudis definitely want to see this fight. We all want to see. The, everybody wants to see the fight, but AJ and Eddie Hearn, in my opinion. If I'm tripping, let me know in the comment section below. However, history has shown that AJ does not want any smoke. And maybe that's why AJ is trying to psych himself up. Because he knows that that fight is going to be coming next. Unless Tyson Fury beats Usyk. And then they fight. And then if AJ loses, he's probably going to retire. So I, I agree with what Big Baby Miller said as well. Tell me what y'all think. Lucas Media.